Shalom, Yashala, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharala. Kol Haloyim La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Harachah Kodash. We're blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwath that's keeping the faith in the works. Y'all keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. Let me see. Mm. We go to the book of um, Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10 says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahweh and in the power of his might. Have to be strong in the Lord, man. And the reason why is because Yasharala or Israel is in a constant war, right? And that war is coming from all sides. All right, <clears throat> and what I say, or what I mean when I say all sides, I'm talking about from within ourselves, from um, individuals of the world, from those close to us. If you are a man with a woman, you're a woman. If you're a woman with a man, you're a man. Y'all may have kids, your children, right? Uh, it ain't just about. You know what I'm saying? Esau, it's about this whole experience. It's a constant battle, right? It's a constant war just trying to endure. That's why scripture tells us, he that endureth until the end shall be saved. You have to endure the word. You have to endure your righteousness to the best of your ability in the midst of wickedness on, that's on a constant rotation. Right, weakness takes no time off. Right, <clears throat> so, so, slot one second. Right, so you got to be strong in the Lord to be able to endure. Right, so <clears throat> this um, Ephesians six and eleven put on the whole armor of power that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So of course we got to deal with the damn devil. But see, this is the thing. Job 9, 24 says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That means this world, right? The whole earth is controlled by the wicked. They dictate what's normal. They dictate what's popular. They dictate what the world thinks, right? Through media, movies, through music, through um influencers, so forth and so on. They are the individuals that push the minds of the people. But of course, scripture tells you, you know, be mindful of who you follow because, you know, people are being led to destruction. Right? But I'm saying this to say, <clears throat> the individuals that are around you, including yourself, because you weren't born knowing this, this truth, you had to learn it. Right, so that means you were influenced by the devil as well. And that's something that you got to battle with on a day-to-day -day basis. Right? That's you you got to depth you got to battle that with the people that's around you that don't know no better and people that do. Right? Because all of us are in a constant state of war. Right? It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, man. Right? We are in a constant state of war for, on all sides. So you have to be strong in the Lord. The only way you can be strong in the Lord, how got to give you that, man? Just being real. How about Shimei Hawashai got to give you that strength? Now, he already gave everybody they lot. And if the Most High has deemed you to have the whole armor on and have that thing on till Shiloh come, then guess what? You're going to have it on till Shiloh come. 
Now, the only way you can find out if you're going to have it on it is to go through temptation. Is to be able to endure. You have to go through things. Go through these different tests. Over and over and over and over again. All right? Let me go to um let me go to the book of Romans. Well actually let me go to um let me go to the book of Psalms. <clears throat> Psalms chapter thirty one. And um Psalms 31 and 13, it says, For I have heard the slander of many, right? Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. Now, this this David, this King David, speaking on Israel that was trying to kill him, right? Because of King Saul, right? When the Most High put that wicked spirit on Saul, and all of the followers of Saul looked at David as an enemy. This is own people. Looked at David as an enemy because the Lord chose him to be their ruler. Right? That's what it all boiled down to. David didn't do nothing to them people. He didn't do nothing to anybody but be as righteous as he can be. And they hated him for it to the point to where they tried to take his life. Scripture says there's no new thing under the sun, man. We're in a constant war. That's why Scripture tells us to be circumspect. We we gotta always be alert of our surroundings. Always gotta watch and pray, right? Cause this devil, real life, trying to take our lives, right? And when I say take our lives, I don't necessarily mean put a bullet in your chest and you dead. I'm talking about take away the spirit from you. Because the spirit is life. John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Right? I believe it's, um, is that Luke 7? Let me see. Hmm. <clears throat> thinking about the parable of the sower where well, the Messiah said that um, basically the ones that are by the wayside are those that when they hear the word they take it in for a minute then the devil come and take that seed away I don't want to roughly paraphrase that so it's a lot one second let me let's see Mm. That's a lot. One second. Okay, so it's the book of Mark, chapter 4, and verse 15. It says, And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown, but when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. So that's what we have to deal with in this place. That's why this place is consumed with entertainment. All right? And that's also why the entertainment is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. It used to be, you know what I mean, um, if you go to a movie, depending on the movie, it, it was anywhere between two hours to really almost two hours for all, all films. Then it got dropped down to short films. And short films already existed. But then when social media came out, it got dropped down to like 30 minutes, 45 minutes to 30 minutes to 15 minutes to five minutes. Now you got shorts that are a minute or two minutes or a few seconds. All right? That does something to the brain. It don't allow information to sit because you constantly want more. It don't allow information to settle in because you're thinking about the next. All of this is by design. Right? All of this is another weapon that's used 
That's why you really got to be mindful of the things that you take in. You can watch a short, but don't let every short you watch have to be about nonsense. You can watch a, a you know, whatever, the YouTube, whatever, but don't let every YouTube video you watch be on some nonsense. You can watch movies, right? But don't let every movie you watch be on nonsense. And, and matter of fact, even in the nonsense, look at it through a spiritual eye, right? Because we had a constant war, man. This devil, real life, trying to take spirits away. And the way they say in the book of, um, I think it's Revelation 18, the things that the devil sold in the door of Babylon were men's souls. Right? This devil, real deal, trying to take, you know, the most high's people out of the game. And he using <clears throat> the majority of the most high's people to do so. He using his peon friends to do so. Right? But let me see, let me go back to um, Psalm 31. So Psalms 31 and 13, it says, For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Yahweh. I said, Thou art my power. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. All right? Speaking about the Most High's own people. <clears throat> All right? And what does what the scriptures say about uh, as far as enemies go? All right? A friend of the world is an enemy to power. That's in the word. So we're not just bumping up again. We're we not just... <clears throat> it ain't just about Esau, man. Even though he the main hand, you know, in the in the midst of all of the, all of this wickedness and real talk, he being ordered by the left hand of the Most High, right? But um, let me go to the Book of Micah. Micah chapter seven. And verse 9 says, I will bear the indignation of Yahweh because I have sinned against him. Right? We have to bear the, the persecution, bear the temptation. We have to endure the, good, endure the fight, fight a good fight, run a good race. Because we understand what we did. We understand our part in this. Like I said, man. Nobody, when nobody born knowing the truth and and trying to, to the best of their ability from birth to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, even knowing the names Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that wasn't something we were born with, right? So, with that understanding, we understand that we have to bear the indignation of Yahweh, but it's only for a season, man, right? But it says, I will bear the indignation of Yahweh because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her which said unto me, where is Yahweh thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. All right. Straight like that, man. Not only do we have to, to to battle with the world whenever we go out and about to the job or to the store, wherever we go, a lot of us got to battle with demons in our own household. Straight up, that don't care nothing about order, don't care nothing about the Lord, don't care nothing about His word. They want to do what they want to do and what the world tell them to do, and we got to endure that to the best of our ability, man. Man, we are, Israel is in a constant state of war on all sides. I'm talking about real, real Yasserah. I ain't talking about them folk that's overseas. That's always beefing with the Palestinians. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about real Yasserah, you so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native Americans, and all our brethren, brethren around the world, all of so-called Negro descent. We in a constant state of war. Right? So, let's go to the book of Romans. Romans 
Romans chapter 7 and verse 14. Yeah, this is going to take a nice little chunk right here. Because this deep. <laughs> this this deep right here. Check this out, man. Now, now I'm saying this deep not to say that I'm, I'm deep in saying it. No, I'm just saying Paul's writings or something else. So, Romans chapter 7 and verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. All right? So, off top, fully understand that the word of the Most High is perfect. It's spiritual. It's the thing that connects us to the Father. It's the thing that allows us to elevate into a spiritual realm while still on this earth. But, <laughs> I am carnal, sold under sin. We in this flesh, right? And this flesh is something else, man. This body that we 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 have to endure, right? It says, "For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do that do I." Right? If we if if True Yasharala, man, you real life want to please your how you do not want to go off. But your your flesh just constantly wants to go off. So it's a constant battle within yourself. Right? You we, all of us know how to be top notch niggas. All of us do. That's something we gotta bump with. Um, bump is slang for fight. That's something we got to fight with. Constantly, man. Right? It says, If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Because you need that if you always off. <laughs> right? It says, Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Right? It says, for I know that in me, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. Because this body want to do what it want to do. Right? It says, for the good that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. Power like, man, I constantly find myself doing stuff that I do not want to do because I understand it's going against the word of the most high. I understand that instead of when, when, the, when the spirit come on me to pick up the word and real, really study, like going to the blue letter, like pick up your notebook, pen and pad, and you, you just all the way into it. Your body tells you, now nah, let's go watch some, comedy skits or let's go watch some music videos or let's go do this because it's more exciting it's, let's go get entertained right it's cause that's your body at war with your righteous man but you have to understand we're spirits and bodies man we're not bodies with spirits this thing is temporary this flesh that we're in is temporary it's temporary it has an expiration date. I don't give a fuck who you are. Pardon my language. But I don't care who you are. All flesh has an expiration date. It has a born date and it has an expiration date. Your spirit is a whole nother matter. Your spirit don't die. According to the word, when you pass, when you when you pass, your body going to the dirt, but your spirit go back up to the Father. Whoever you are, your spirit goes back up to the Father. You get judged, come back down on this earth, and live out that judgment. That's in the word, right? That spirit man want to be as righteous as it possibly can at all times, wake or sleep. But that damn carnal man. And that corner man. And that's what we bump with. That's what we fight with constantly. Right? Read verse, um, verse 19 again. It says, For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. 
Now, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Right? I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. When you want to do right, evil is right there saying, nah, man, nah, 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 nah. You know you would rather do this. You know you would rather do that. Right? That's why you got to be strong in the Lord, man. Because that's something that we can't, we can't win that fight, bro. We can't win it. Right? Yeah, how about Shimei Shai got to win that battle for you? Right? That's why David said, I trust in the Lord. Got to trust in the Lord. Trust that Yahweh Shai did what he did for you so that you can overcome this flesh. That's what he did. Right? It says, but I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? It's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? All of us are wretched, bro. Every one of us wretched. The things that separate the righteous from the from the wretched is the spirit of the Lord. That's it. All right? Let me go to the book of Romans, chapter 3. And verse 23. Matter of fact, verse 22. Even the righteousness of so Solomon. Highlight that right quick. Even the righteousness of power, which is by faith. Faith of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach unto all. Now they're all, of course, speaking about Yasharala, because according to the book of Acts, chapter 5, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai did what he did for Yasharala. According to John 3.16, Yahweh Shai did what he did for the world of Yasharala. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. All right. But it says even the righteousness of Salah. But now, verse 21, but now the righteousness of power. Of Salah, I'm on verse 22. Even the righteousness of power, which is by faith of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach unto all and upon all them that believe for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of power. Every one of us. Scripture tell you your thoughts are wicked, bro. If your thoughts go off, that's counting sin unto you. How can you control what thought enters into your brain? You can't. Only thing you can do is rebuke that thing. Understand that you got faith in your Howard by Shimmy Howard Shy. And he's running you in a race. This ain't you being this ain't you being wicked and vile. Because the spirit inside of you is fighting against your flesh. Anytime you want to do something righteous, sometimes you may, you know, not do that. Right? But it's a conscious, it's a conscious that come behind it. Like, hey man, I don't feel right because I'm, I was supposed to be doing this, and next time it happened, guess what? You choose. Okay, I said I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Boom, spend this however much time. Now, after I'm feel satisfied, my spirit feels satisfied with what I've done on the righteous side. Okay, now let me be entertained. All right, but it's a battle, bro. It's a battle. The Most High deals with balance, right? False balance is an abomination to Yahweh. If you deal more so on in wickedness than you do in righteousness, that's unbalanced, right? And when I say wickedness, I ain't talking about you know what I'm saying. You all up in porn and you just smoking blunts and whatever the hell. Nah, I ain't talking about that. But I'm saying the time that you spend away from actually being in the word. All right, that's what I'm speaking of. And I'm not saying that you're wicked every time you put the Bible down. I'm not saying that. But you should get the gist of what I'm trying to 
you know, speak on. Right? But it says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of power. Right? And one of us lose some battles or two. <laughs> right? But the war, we already got that victory. Right? Yeah, we at war on all sides, but the victory has already been declared to the elect of the elect. All right. Um let me see. Let me go to the book of Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter four and verse five. It says, But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. It's the same man that said when he want to do right, he do wrong. Same man that understands that, okay, when I do wrong, that's not really me. That's my, that's my carnal side. That's my fleshly side. My spirit side is on point because my spirit side is constantly battling with the carnal side. The majority of the most high's people ain't got that battle. They spirit wicked as hell. They flesh wicked, wicked as hell. They have no conscience at all about the wickedness that they do. In fact, they enjoy it. They can't wait to do it again. Know how many so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and all our brethren around the world, or all our people around the world, rather, are, are, are sleeping with uh, each other's husbands and wives? Are sleeping man to man and woman? You know how many? And, and with zero, zero cares about it. They ain't got that battle that you have. So count it a blessing that you understand you in the battle and that you are fighting a good fight and that you're running a good race. That means that the spirit of the Lord is dealing with you. Let him deal. Because at the end of the day, guess what, man? <laughs> Matter of fact, let me see. Let me see if I can find the scripture right quick. Uh... Uh, first John mm. actually first Corinthians love yeah, that's what I'm looking for. First Corinthians chapter fifteen and verse fifty-seven. It says, "But thanks be the power which giveth us the victory through our other one, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, or through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach." Man, All right. Straight like that. Matter of fact, let me read up verse 54. Um, uh, 50, 52. First Corinthians 15, 52. In a moment in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Uh-oh. Ain't no more warring spirit against this, this flesh. Like I said, man. All flesh has an expiration date. All flesh. And we speaking about a change that goes beyond a person dying. All right. We talking about a spiritual change that manifests into an actual physical body. Through the power and strength of Yahweh by Shimei Says in verse 53, for this corruptible must put on in corruption and this mortal must put on immortality 
So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. What brings death? The wages, the wages of sin equate death. Right? O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Right? Because death and hell have been reigning supreme over the Most High's people for so long. <laughs> for so long. I said, man, Job 9, 24 said, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. They've been in rulership for quite a while. Right? But it says, the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be the power which giveth us the victory. Through our Adawan, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. You already got the victory, man. You just have to endure until the end and be saved. Right? So, hey, with that, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Ratazadi, his precepts in this video were edifying. Call Holoyim La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Harakhak Wadash, Shalom Yashalom.